Summerdale, which one of these suspects is responsible for Emma Barton's death? A major whodunit is underway as the village villain did not take her own life after all. She plunged to her death after being pushed off a viaduct after it was originally thought that she had jumped. Seven suspects are in the frame Ross Barton, Pete Barton, Adam Barton, Moira Barton, Kane Dingle, Laurel Thomas and Gabby Thomas. And the show's top boss has teased the killer could be out of the show once his or her identity is revealed. He said, the soap gods must have their vengeance. Whoever's killed Emma, in some ways, hasn't committed as big a crime as if they'd killed a God-fearing, law-abiding, innocent character. There's a certain sense that whoever's done this is like an agent of God. But if you've got blood on your hands in a soap, you can't just get away with it. There has to be some comeuppance, I suppose and and there will be. Over the coming weeks fans will be treated to a flashback scenes that will give away details about the murder, helping them to play detective and work out who actually killed Emma. The suspects and their motives for killing Emma, Laurel Thomas, she tried to take Emma down after discovering how she tormented her family. Pete Barton, payback for killing his father James and brother Finn. Gabby Thomas, revenge for tormenting her dad and brother. Ross Barton, revenge for killing his father James and brother Finn. Kane Dingle, to protect his ex-wife Moira Dingle and revenge for stealing his baby. Moira Barton, longtime arch rivals and Emma tried to kill her and abducted her baby. Adam Barton, revenge for killing dad James and trying to kill his mum Moira. The Apprentice candidate Harrison Jones may soon be heading to X Factor after he offers to show off his singing talents tomorrow. In the latest task the rival teams must compete to provide the best luxury experience for guests in a hospitality box at Wembley Stadium for the Women's Faw Cup Final. After discovering it would be too expensive to hire a magician, Harrison is persuaded to step in and entertain the crowds by singing Frank Sinatra's My Way. He says, I've sung in the shower to myself and now I'm singing at Wembley. Judge him yourself on BBC One tomorrow at 9pm- Emma celebrity jungle shower beauty Mylene Class has taken a pop at Love Island's Amber Davis and Olivia Atwood who are trying to steal her bikini babe crown. She has warned the girls who have become pin-ups like her with their sexy bikini shoots and fashion ranges that they will need staying power if they want to stay as famous as her in years to come. Mylene, who found fame on ITV reality show Pop Stars, said, Longevity is the test. Let's see where everyone is in 10 years' time. Dash. Tracy Ullman breaks the news comedian and impressionist Tracy Ullman has begged Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn not to shave his beard off before the weekend. She mimics the politician for the Phi RST time in her new show and had some facial hair made especially for the sketch. Tracy joked, 
he will no doubt be delighted to see himself depicted by a middle-aged woman please don't shave your beard off Jeremy, we've just had one maid. See how she fares on Friday on BBC One at 9.30pm.